Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to create a very quick ClickFunnels 2.0 opt-in funnel. This is going to be a two-step funnel where someone arrives on it, they enter their email, get taken to a thank you page, and of course you collect the lead in the background. If you'd like to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, I will have a link down below. If you click that, you can get a free 14-day trial. If you're a current customer already, or if you are trialing it already, you can use that link to log in and follow along. Let's begin. So. All you need to do basically in the beginning is click on this little tab here, go to funnels and I did create funnel and we have a new one, I'm gonna create a new one. So I'm just calling this opt-in funnel. It's gonna give us our funnel path URL and click on create funnel. Okay, now that we arrive here, what we wanna do is edit the workflow. The workflow is similar to ClickFunnels 1.0 if you used it where you were creating a sales funnel and on the left, it would have like the opt-in step, under it would be the thank you step, under that would be another step. This is just another unique way of doing the same thing. So let's click on the plus, let's click on page. And for this, I'm not gonna actually go through and you know edit it, make it look pretty. I just wanna show you how it works when it comes to opting in. I'm just gonna choose this one here, opt-in one give it a name and page URL. Okay, so just name URL. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do that appropriately. This is just an example, so I'm gonna run through quick. This stuff as well, you'll probably wanna edit, which is gonna be quick. I'm just gonna skip that so we can get to the good stuff of this. Click on create page. Okay, next what we wanna do is add another step because when they opt in, we wanna get them taken to the next step in the funnel. So once again, let's click on the plus, let's click on page. Now we're gonna be looking for thank you pages. So any of these are gonna do. Obviously, I'm not gonna edit them around too much. Let's go with this. Same thing, I gave it a name, page URL, and if you want, probably wanna do edit the SEO settings. Let's click on create page. Perfect, so this is gonna be our funnel. And what I wanna do is just take off the test mode. So I'm gonna to go to settings. I'm gonna do test mode, no, and update funnel. Oops, let's do our domain and update funnel. Okay, so now that these two pages are live, like I talked about, this is the creation of it. So it's not a whole lot extra you have to do. So let's click on this here, and or hover over it and click on edit. Okay, so this specific page is the one where if you click on the button, it's going to open up a pop-up. So let me preview it and just show you what it looks like. Okay, so now that we're here, all we need to do is scroll down on the button here and click on this. And this is where someone enters their name, their email address, and clicks on the submit button. That's just giving you an idea of what it's going to look like so we know what to edit. Okay, so normally, all you would need to do is say, if there wasn't a pop-up button, there would be an email and a name and a button under it, and you would click on the button. And, and that kind of allows you to change where it's going to be going, what happens on submit. But given the fact this is a pop-up, what we want to do is here and go to show pop-up. And as you can see, this is what I was talking about. Normally this can be on the page, you know, obviously, but what I wanna do is if you wanna keep the name, you can keep that. You can also delete it. For this, this example, I'm gonna be keeping that. Let's click on the submit button. Okay, and as you see, it says submit order form, which is going to be good. We can scroll to, we can show or hide, uh, redirect to next step, but submit order form is going to be what we're looking for. So obviously we can change this around, like click, here to continue or to get access. For example, if you had like a free PDF or a free training, uh, let's hear subtext, we don't need that. And that's pretty much going to be the basics of that. There are gonna be some other things you can do here in terms of uh, templates and then we have logic, but we're just gonna stick with the basic stuff. So that looks good there. Let's save that. And like I talked about before, this is more so gonna be about showing you how it's connected and how it goes from one step to the other. You know, cause once you create a landing page and you have your opt-in, it's gonna be very easy to edit that, like showing you what I just did. So let's preview this. Okay, so I'm gonna click on get started today. Name, just put James and then email, random email for testing. And you're gonna to wanna to click on here or the button, whatever it is, click here to get access. If you can see on the bottom by clicking on that, it allows you to submit the form. So let's click on this. And what do you know, it gets taken to the thank you page that we had also just put there. Like we didn't change this around. That's good. That's where it should go. So that works perfectly. Also, what you can do is go back into the actual editor. So excuse me, the dashboard. So let's go back. Let's go back again. And if you go to the contact section, you should see that an email has been entered as a test. So I'm going to go there and click on it. And there we go, last active today at 801, you know, random email for testing. This is also cool because you can add a lot of stuff to this. You can edit it if you want. There's activity notes they're gonna be adding soon, but you're seeing uh, where they opted in. There's gonna be other stuff for marketing, orders, enrollments, fulfillments, and of course you can manage contacts, but that's gonna be the one I just edited. And if you see it there, that means it works great. So, but overall, that's how you can create a two-step opt-in funnel. If you wanna get someone to a page, have them opt in and send them to the thank you page. Obviously editing what's on those pages 
pages is going to be up to you. But as long as you know the process for connecting them and generating that lead, you're going to be good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will also have my link for a free ClickFunnels trial in the description as well in case you want to test that out. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.